I'm done. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> what a die. <laughs> so you ended up uh, you talk, going back to Kybrin in South Wales. So you're both from... You ended up in, in South Wales as a consequence of, uh, well, your family, really, upbringing. But you were born in Manchester, raised in Manchester. What part of Manchester are you Sea Town, Clayton. East side. East side. Droyles, I'm from Droyles and he's from Clayton, but it's... The, On the border. The French, it's like Romeo and Juliet. They're just next to each other. Is that right? Basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, what age did you live there until? I moved when I was about 12. I don't know. How and old Jack I was, was 16, about 17. Oh, right. So you stuck around for a Were you always in <coughs> Clayton? Always in Clayton. And you finished school in Clayton? Yeah, I went you? to college in City Centre, this creative design studio, but it was wank. Just dropped out and started doing business. And then, uh, you started doing business? Started doing a little beard in it. Started doing a little bit of beard in it. Right. And quit the beard in it. But it had a beard in it. Went to see the Stone Roses. Started doing porn. Started doing porn business. Porn, yeah, porn. Only fans. Only fans. Selling feet. Right, and then at the age of twelve, what happened? Like, what you, you, your family relocated to? Yeah, so Jack's so. dad went to rehab in South Wales okay. first, and then about was a there a con- as a consequence of something, or was it just like a an- kid? Right, they just love rehab, <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. like going visiting them, you know. He's still in one now, <laughs> <Yeah>. to be <laughs> fair. Right, um, so, 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 he, yeah, so, so he had an addiction. Yeah, uh, and. So yeah. he moved, he went into rehab and stuff, and then a year or two later, my dad went to the same one. And then when my dad finished, he thought, if I if I move back to Manchester, I'm just going to end up doing this. You know, I might be all right for a year. And then you, when they went to rehab, were you still both in Manchester? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And how long were you in Manchester for be, uh, before you ended up going? Because you obviously stayed. You, you yeah. See, so so your dad came back. Yeah, because I, I was living because I, I lived with my nan. It was never a. He always lived with his mum and dad, so it was a bit of a bigger deal for him. You know, his dad going away, whereas I didn't live with my dad much, so okay. it wasn't that big of a deal for so me. Well, I, li- I lived with my grandma, yeah. but my mum and dad lived in the house. At the, where, mm. So I lived with my grandma, my mum and dad were there. Jack lived with his nan, or our nan, sorry, yeah. but his mum and dad weren't there. Mm. So basically, Jack was brought up by his nan. Okay, I was brought up by my grandma, but my mum and dad were there, and I think when my dad had finished rehab... He was like in his thirties and stuff, so it was about time he sort of grew up. Yeah, <laughs> and he he knew that, so he thought if I go back to Manchester, just give it a year or two, I'll be do, just back doing the same shit. Same old people. Yeah. So he thought I'm, I'll <coughs> I like it down here. We'll move down here. And right. It was like the best thing they ever did, really. So. Sure. And how did you feel when you left Manchester? Like I was gutted. I I ate. I I, li- I like it now. Now I'm I've a, sort of established myself in terms of. Got friends and that. But at first, I, I hated it, like, with a passion. Right. Because you've been taken away from what you knew and big United fans. And I kind of I kind of thought, at that time, I probably thought, well, it's, it's not my fault I have, I have to move. I shouldn't have to move. But And were you two as close at that point in your life? I think, yeah, I think ro- even worse. Oh, we've really? always, we've yeah. always been this close. Even yeah, right. It, you know, it's not just forever. Kids. And how did you feel when when he when the, his family chipped off? Was it like a bit of a gear change? Or? I don't really remember. But yeah, it was changed because we didn't do we didn't get up to much mischief really. Mm. But um, we made up for it though when we yeah, did yeah. see each other. Yeah, it all flew by really. I was doing other things when he was gone. We was into music when he. Were you? I wasn't no. No, I got into him through him through like the Stone Roses and stuff. That was quite late. I would I bloomed late, about fifteen sixteen. Got into music properly. There was like a switch with Jack, whereas with me, I've always been into... You know like when people like pretend that they're into music when they were younger and they weren't? Yeah. I fucking was. Like, mm. big... Ask anyone. I was, right? I was surrounded by music, but I just never listened, really. I don't think. And it, but whereas with Jack, weren't asked, and then it was like overnight, all of a sudden, he was just... He fucking flew really himself did. into it. <laughs> right. It was just... What, what, what? Do you remember the light bulb No moment? idea. No idea. Just... Love music all of a sudden. I don't so even know. I what made I made, I made love to him once. When I put yeah. the second coming on. We on. Yeah. It was so nice. He fell in this off. field. Got me to touch a girl's breast. What's the first gig you went to then? If it, if you were quite late to it, what was the first? Do you remember the first gig? I Obviously went, the first. Well, we went to Why Not? I think, and I think it was Madness and Noel Gallagher. Okay. I don't know if that was the first. I've probably been to uh, Jake Bug too. You gave me a ticket to see Jake Bug. 
That yeah. was with some random blue-haired girl, freak. Where, where were that? Um, O2. Was it the O2? Or I can't remember. Where have we seen that Bugsy Malone? Apollo. Apollo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a while back. That was in 2016 or 15. Did that, blo- was that a, did that blow your mind, or, or was it just like, oh, I'm just going? I was just there to see a bird. Okay. But I did like the music. Yeah, but... It was like a two birds, one stone sort of thing. The music's a bonus, isn't it? Mm. Oh, yeah. Impress a bird. But, um, was, 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 was the, you never got to that Stone Roses gig in London, did you? No, yeah. we did. We oh, did, you did? Yeah. That's how long... Yeah, that's how the band started. That's how the band yeah. started, that, yeah. Was that... Was... Was that the light bulb moment, perhaps? Or? I think it probably came before. It just wasn't as yeah. like, wasn't as in you know, in front of me. I remember before that Stone Roses gig in Wembley. Just a bit of close. Before that gig in Wembley. Yeah. I, Jack was still in Manchester. We've seen the Roses before, though, didn't we? Yeah. That's why. The year before, two thousand and sixteen, we seen them at the Etihad. Yeah. Mm. That was that. I reckon that was probably that was, the the changing moment yeah. in terms of we we were both into music. For a long but time. But I tell you what, when I was when I realised I think I was into music a bit too much, and this was when I was listening to Aces in college, it was just when I was getting onto the demos and shit. Oh yeah. When I was getting onto like the the shit that you on like you couldn't hear it, but I was like, that's a fucking tune. If you heard that, it's just crackling. By and, like, which band? Oasis and the Roses and stuff like that. Just the the stepping stone bands, I think. Yeah, of course. You know, and yeah, that was probably the moment where I thought, yeah, maybe actually I'm liking music a bit. Yeah. For, I mean, I, the, the first time I, my mum took me to my first gig when I was about, well, I was really young. I went to the Irish Centre um, in Leeds and I got to um, watch a band called Nine Below Zero, which were like a blues pub rock band, really, but they were quite big in the 70s and 80s. And um, I just, there was a band on before them called Dr. Feelgood, and the guitarist in Dr. Feelgood, the original guitarist, was a guy called Wilco Johnson who has recently died, unfortunately, but he was this kind of, he played with his fingers, and when he played, he just walked backwards and forwards on stage, like, 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 like a duck, like, so like fucking chicken, <laughs> backwards <laughs> Um And I just remember feeling like that was my light bulb moment. I walked in and I was just like, it was not full, the venue was quite dead. Yeah. It wasn't this like oasis moment where there were flares everywhere, but it's just like the volume of the sound hit him and, and the sensation of yeah. it and how impressed I was at the guitar playing and even though I know I knew none of the songs I was just like blown away by how um, enjoyable it was mm. and that was the kind of moment where I was like I want to be a musician um, and yeah it's interesting some people see there's, there's, there's so many different ways to find that spark to, that just makes you fall in love with music and that's when you start <coughs> finding the demos of bands mm-hmm. and I guess that like the I think it's the, the hunt for it isn't it the hunt yeah, yeah. You're searching for more and more and more of that one thing and also there's, there's, there's kind of like a tipping point where you go from listening to like pop music and mm. stuff that's more commercial that's more easily digestible to like maybe listening to like Nirvana mm. like, and that is still commercially but it's yeah. more abrasive yeah. Like it's quite remarkable, I think that. Well, like, the earlier stuff's a bit heavy, isn't it? That's, what Nirvana? Not as, yeah, not as poppy. Yeah, but I mean, obviously, like on Nevermind, it's just a, it's a major label, mm. well produced, mixed. Everything is very loud mastering, so it, it's immediately mm. exciting. And their earlier stuff is far more uh, raw. 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 Yeah, absolutely. That's a good word. It's um, it isn't refined. There isn't a lot. There aren't many. Um, moving parts on it, it it feels like it was recorded in a room with two Mm. microphones and that's the appeal you know and the Mm. songs are great Mm. but there's also this kind of like there's a there's a almost like a dirty texture to it that Mm. is completely magnetic a sludgy punk sort of thing it's like a mystery in it yeah absolutely find out more yeah absolutely